Okej. Okay. Yy, w sumie to nie wiem, na czym skończyliśmy poprzednio. Yy, chyba tutaj wszystko jest przeskonowane. Chyba ten zamek też bym przeskonował. Tak więc yy, nie wiem, czy ten samolot przeskonowałem. Another abnormally high reading emanating from the plane. It is in every way a Fokker DR1, except for that power source. Mm -hmm. Tak w ogóle to dopiero dzisiaj przeszedłem tą grę do końca, tak więc teraz już jestem, teraz już wiem co trzeba robić w każdej misji po kolei i mam nadzieję, że przebiegnie to po prostu teraz gładko. Tutaj trzeba po prostu te wszystkie przymioty mocy włożyć do środka tego samolotu. You put the clock in the triplane. Triplane, triplane, triplane. You put the chalkboard in the triplane. I jeszcze ten maszynik. You put the. Teraz żeby nie było sobie zrobić zapis taki e, na nowe save miejsce, me. czyli samolotik, może to nazwiemy. I podłożymy dynamit. Affirmative, Captain. Po prostu affirmative. Hm. Everyone stay well back. <laughs> Gdzie oni się schowają? Taka ilość dynamitu. <laughs> tak, tak, bardzo mądre. I suppose I should be angry at you, Captain, with your act of vandalism against my beautiful aircraft. But then, barbarians will be barbarians. There's only one barbarian in the room, Trelane, and I'm looking at him right now. Release my ship, Trelane. And don't you ever grow up, Trelane? You may have powers of a god, but that doesn't even come close to making you a man. There's only one barbarian. Release my ship, Trelane. Release my ship. My ship. My ship. It's always your ship, your crew. Don't you have anything else to think about? Conquests of your enemies and the... the fair sex. Restore the ships you've stolen and return them unharmed. You're in no position to make demands. I am the Baron of Gothus, the most renowned aristocrat in this part of Germany. This farcical, wildly inaccurate fantasy of yours. And you are my prisoner, a mere Lieutenant Colonel, Jimmy Kirk. And I will do with you whatever I want. Czyli nic na obecną chwilę. Po prostu możemy sobie dalej sterować naszymi postaciami. Możemy też wyjść? Nie, nie możemy. No to skanujemy. <śmiech> Misia na początek. No unusual readings. Bronie. Purely decorative, Captain. The shield is too thin to withstand actual combat. And given the inefficient design of the polearm, the axe head would likely fly off the handle the first time it was used. Czyli rupiecie po prostu drewno? Ordinary logs, Captain. Ogień. No unusual readings. Ale zobaczcie co jest w butelkach. To są prawdziwe statki w butelkach. Statki kosmiczne. The tricorder confirms that the ship has been shrunk. I know of no scientific way this could have occurred, and no way to reverse it. We'll have to convince our host to do it, Mr. Spock. Tak, po prostu trzeba będzie go przekonać. Po tym wszystkim to zrobił. The tricorder com. We'll have to. W ogóle to powie nam, co to są zasadki? This bottle contains a very realistic reduction of the USS Enterprise. Enterprise. Jim, is that what I think it is? It is the Enterprise, Doctor. It is functioning normally, aside from being trapped. The crew are alive and well. My latest hobby, gentlemen, putting warships in bottles, celebrating the Grand Marshal heritage of your species. Pięknie. This bottle contains a very realistic reduction of the USS Zimbabwe. My ship! Bring it back or I'll... Oh. This one's even more savage than the last one of your officers who made the same mistake. My compliments, Captain, on having such a spirited crew. Truly a testament to your fine leadership. 
Release him, Trelane. He's done you no harm. Take me in his place. He's not a member of my crew, and you know it. Besides, he looks rather peaceful standing there. Release him, Trelane. He's done you no harm. Take me in his place. Może to? Ah, the gallant captain intervening on behalf of one who despises him. Don't worry about it. I suppose I should thank you, Captain. Later, Commander. Nie wiem czy to ten, czy to nie spowoduje odjęcia jakichś punktów tutaj. This bottle contains a very realistic reduction of the SS Manikier, a Denebian transport. This bottle contains a very realistic reduction of the SS Shinobi, a freighter. Czyli wszystkie statki porwał. Cztery znaczy się. A door, but to where? No właśnie. Sprawdźmy. Fascinating, Captain. The tricorder indicates that the laws of time and space do not apply outside that door. My, we are curious, aren't we, Mr. Spock? I believe it was the Kaiser who once said, "Curiosity kills animals with pointed ears." Ale bez sensu. Obraz. Captain, the painting is another power object. Trzeba zniszczyć. A to u góry? Co to jest? Nothing unusual about this object. Może okiem. An ugly gargoyle-like decoration. A trifle grotesque for the setting, isn't it, Trelane? Why, Kirk? I wasn't aware of your interest in the design of castles. I hope you like my rug better. Czy twój dywan? A poor bear rug. Jaka szkoda. If the real thing weren't bad enough, a portrait of the humble baron of Gothos smirks nauseatingly at you. Nauseating czyli po prostu powoduje mdłości. An axe and shield. As with most of Trelane's collection, they are mostly ornamental. A charming brick fireplace. Tak, uroczo ognisko. Trelane, the Baron of Gothos, smirks triumphantly as the little drama unfolds. Jeszcze powinniśmy Misia zeskanować tym tylko dera medyczny. It's not a life form anymore, Jim. Hey, na kiedyś było. Okay. Say replace. Elpa Misia. I teraz, aha, jeszcze kwestie tutaj tych postaci. All right, Trelane, why don't we end the spars? I'm the one who humiliated you. I'm the reason your parents punished you. Let the others and their ships go free. Last time, Captain, you cheated. But if your friends are here, maybe you won't cheat. To nie była zbyt długa pogawędka. I can suggest no logical course of action that can resolve this dilemma. This is hardly a logical situation, Mr. Spock. Indeed. Still, I wonder if Trelane realizes the extent of his misrepresentation. Szybko się wyzerpałeś, Panie Spock. Well, this is another fine mess we're in, Jim. Any ideas on how to get out of this bones? Well, looking at it from a medical perspective, we might view Trelane as a biological control network. And everything else that's going on is controlled by Trelane. And? What happens if Trelane loses control? Immaturity does seem to be Trelane's only weakness. That's dangerous, Bones. Like playing with a phaser on overload, but that's the only thing I can think of right now. Well, how does the great James T. Kirk get us out of this mess? Or the ones who will get out of this mess alive? None of us will get out of here alive if we don't stick together. Do you have any ideas, Mr. Ellis? Have you ever played hide and seek, Captain? From what you've told me, he's a cosmic child hiding from his parents. If I were his parents, I wouldn't leave him alone for a minute. I'll bet my life that someone's looking for him, Captain. You just might be right, Mr. Ellis. Dobry pomysł. Pewnego wykorzystamy. Ale powoli, 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 powoli. Jest jeszcze jedna rzecz, którą trzeba zrobić tutaj, żeby dostać większą punktację. Mianowicie trzeba użyć karabinu na obrazie. Is it really necessary to use firearms? It's a power object. You remember what happened the last time I shot one of his power objects? Yes, it was destroyed. Trelane's power faded until he activated a secondary power object. We need to find a more permanent solution, Captain. 
czyli to nic nie da. Yy, użycie karabiny na trelejnie spowoduje obniżenie punktacji, więc nie będziemy tego robić. Jedyne co nam pozostało, to po prostu go przekonać. I tutaj też jeszcze, jeszcze jedna opcjonalna rzecz, którą trzeba zrobić dla podwyższenia punktów. Well, Captain, I suppose you're about to make your grand plan of escape. You must think you're pretty clever, Trelane, with your replica of the First World War. Why should I have to make a grand plan to escape from a loser like you? <laughs> I don't have to do anything. Eventually, your parents are going to find you and discipline you. You must think you're pretty... Tak, I don't have to do anything. Fortunately, Kirk, my parents are otherwise occupied. They won't interrupt me when I'm winning. But you have to compete first before you can win. Send the others away safely, and I'll give you a chance at revenge. That's all. I was sure I detected other power sources converging towards us when I was on the Enterprise. No, question. no you didn't. It's nowhere near me. But there's no harm in making sure we aren't seen. Oh. <laughs> Sprawdził. She's got it. Now I have to think of the proper way to destroy my enemies. You have a brief respite before your destruction. Well, Captain, I suppose you okay. must think you're pretty clever for lane with your Why, thank you, Captain. I wasn't complimenting you, Trelane. I've never seen such a piece of nonsense in my life. Although you could have made that trench scene much more realistic. If World War I had been the way you depicted, human history would have been a lot less bloody. I wasn't complimenting you, although you could have made that trench scene much more realistic. Really, Captain? Look into the memory banks of the Enterprise, Trelane. Recreate what's in there, and let me show you firsthand the glory of one of the bloodiest conflicts in human history. Not a liar, just misinformed. Use the memory banks of the Enterprise Trelane. Recreate what's in there. War at its most realistic and terrifying. No, you said that the Buenos Aires are some. It's a good one. A jeśli. A German soldier. He had lost his three brothers at Verdun, and had considered mutinying. But feared disgrace more than the loss of his own life. Ale przecież za mutiny czy za bunt i tak pewnie by został rozstrzelany. A German soldier, though you couldn't tell it from the color of his uniform, mud has a way of making them all look the same. A dead French soldier, in his hands he cradles a letter from his fiancée. Rain has been falling for hours, ever since the battle ended. Otherwise, all is quiet on the Western Front. A dead French soldier. He survived a mustard gas attack at Ypres. But in this war, luck is not on anyone's side. Rain has been... Rain has been... The sides of a trench. Moats filled with soldiers in which they besieged each other for four bloody years. Rain has been falling. The sides of a trench. To the rest. Kirk struggles to find the words to adequately describe this Holocaust. Trelane, the Baron of Gothos, seems delighted by what he is seeing. Jak że tak. This is worse than I imagined. Captain Kirk, I hope you had a good reason for dragging me out in the mud in the middle of the rain. Look around you, Trelane. Is this glory? Is this valor? Smell the stench of death. While knights fought in the sky, millions died in the mud. Diseased, starving, mutilated. Is this the sort of game you want to play, Trelane? For once in your life, Trelane, shut up and look around you. Look around, Trelane. Take in the ambience, the romance of this place. Look at the proud soldiers celebrating the glories of war. Look around you, Trelane. Is this glory? But these people lost, Kirk. Shame and suffering is supposed to befall the losers in war. These were the winners, Trelane. You're inhuman, Trelane. You play games with people and ignore their suffering, just like the people who sent these men to die. You should have been a politician. If you have any real courage, Trelane, if you want to experience real warfare, put yourself in their place. No powers, no titles. Experience the glory of war firsthand. These were the winners, Trelay. Ale my nie wiem, czy to nie są winners, bo ja w sumie nie jestem w stanie tylko stwierdzić, 
skoro tu ile że dwóch Niemców i dwóch Francuzów. If you have any real but aren't you inferior supposed to die like that? Aren't you supposed to throw your lives away in futile wars? Or die as meaningless non-entities? Dying a useless death without glory? No one is useless, Trelane. And no one wants to throw away their life in a futile war. We've changed, Trelane. We've grown up. It's time you did too. You're no fun anymore, Kirk. No fun at all. You're preachy just like them. Anything I'm interested in is always wrong. Release my ship. Trelane, look around you. Does this look right to you? Trelane, you don't go around hurting people and expect them to treat it as though they're having fun. The first thing a life form learns is to avoid pain. Release my Trelane. But all. Then how do you explain this delightful scene around us? Some politicians decided that the only way to avoid getting hurt was to send other people out to get hurt. We've tried to outgrow that. Not always successfully, as Mr. Ellis might tell you, but we try. Captain, yours is a most confusing species. Perhaps I should spend some time thinking about it before I talk with you again. Yeah. Captain's log. The missing starships have been restored to normal size and are about to return to their assigned missions. It was horrible, Mr. Spock. Trelane recreated one of the greatest tragedies in human history. I've seen a lot, but even that... The waste of lives is appalling, even when one operates by pure logic. When one considers what those millions of lives that were lost might have done for humanity had the war never taken place. Well, now that we've taken care of business... Ow! I'll have to see Dr. McCoy about my shoulder. Something happened, Captain. Mr. Ellis and I. I see. Are your differences settled? I'm afraid not, Mr. Spock. We each won a game of zero-G squash, but I'm afraid he was called huh. back to the Zimbabwe before we could have a rubber match. I think I dislocated my shoulder with a rather wild swing in the second game. Oh, then logic suggests that your injury would have caused you to lose the match. I suppose so. He's a good player and a good officer. I'm putting in a request to bring him on the Enterprise. That should be fascinating. Yes, he Gretel. Hello, Captain. I'm Captain Gernsbeck of the Shinobi. I thought I would thank you personally before we left for Cephas 5. A pleasure to meet you, Captain. Have we met before, Captain? There's something familiar. Perhaps we did, on some other planet, in some other star system, sometime long ago. Message from Starfleet Command. No, zobaczymy, ile będzie mieć punktów teraz. Sukces. Mission, Jim. Your reputation as Starfleet's best starship captain is secure. Kane out. Hurra! To może po muzyce poznać, czy będzie max punktów czy nie. Light and darkness. Captain's log. While exploring an uncharted star system in the Deneb sector, we received what we think is a message from a distress beacon on Onias 2. We're en route to investigate. Okay. Yy, czyli kolejną misję zaczynamy i to jest czwarta misja, czyli jesteśmy teraz w połowie gry, właściwie wchodzimy w połowę gry, tak to może, tak mogę powiedzieć. Yy, no ale, że to jest kolejna misja się zaczyna, pomimo tego, że ten film trwa tylko 19 minut, to sobie zaczniemy tą kolejną misję w następnym odcinku. Okej. Okay.